Well, we got to get through a bit of a storm here first, and then it sounds like it's going to be smooth sailing for a while. For a while, and it's going to be really smooth. You know, we were looking for smooth, but this is going to be ultra smooth. We've nice. earned it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we have. But we do have a lot to get to tonight here. We already have uh, tornado watches down to our south. Uh, there was talk that there may be either tornado or severe thunderstorm watches issued shortly further north, and possibly even across parts of Minnesota. Our dynamics are looking a little more like uh, the atmosphere is a bit more favorable for some hail in our area, especially east of I-35. So we're going to talk more about that and kind of keep an eye on things as we roll into the evening here. I do want to talk a little more about what's going on further south as well. We have a few stronger showers and thunderstorms that are popping up down across parts of Iowa. But before we get to this severe risk, I want to talk about the winter threat. We have severe to the south and east, winter to the west, winter weather advisory in effect across a good chunk of uh, Minnesota. And this is mainly for some ice and some light snow, but the wind is really going to be impactful here over the next couple of days as the system goes by. Our gusts are going to kick into the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. As we take a look now, you can see that we've had snow to the north and west. Uh, we have strong thunderstorms to the south. These have just popped up here over about the last half hour or so, developing uh, across parts of Hancock, Worth County, Winnebago County in there. Uh, as you head east toward Mason City, nothing severe at this point, but again, the, the uh, potential for some hail definitely there. Kind of watch. This is a time lapse over the last 30 minutes. They've uh, developed very quickly and they're going to continue to push to the northeast and we may see a few more thunderstorms develop north of those clusters of storms. Here's the reason we have a low sitting to our south that is slowly lifting north. Basically the same kind of setup that we had last week with those storms on Friday. Snow to the north and west. In fact, blizzard conditions from Aberdeen to Pier to Fargo. And uh, for us, just a little bit of rain. We're kind of caught right in the middle of this in the um, least exciting part of this uh, particular storm system. But you can see what's going on here. We go from 36 in the Twin Cities to 37 in Mankato. It is 70 down in Des Moines. So that temperature contrast as that warm front lifts north will continue to spark those showers and thunderstorms. Here we've had showers. A few hundredths of an inch of rain today. It's 37 wind out of the east at 15 now. And as we check out the region ranging from about 32 in Olivia to 42 in Blue Earth, it is 50 down in Algona. Here's the future cast. And as we go through the rest of the evening, we'll see those showers and thunderstorms continue to develop and push to the northeast. And again, we may see some of these clip the uh, far eastern, southeastern part of our KEYC coverage area. So we'll definitely be watching. Stay weather aware. We'll be uh, watching things and we'll let you know if anything does develop here. Snow to the north and west. Still, uh, there could be 10 to 16 inches of snow across parts of far northwestern Minnesota into North Dakota. Precip amounts, not huge, maybe a tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain with more if we get those thunderstorms a little further east. Tonight, scattered showers, thunderstorms, 35. Wind northeast becoming west at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we uh, head into tomorrow, it is going to be windy and very cold. Temperatures starting in the 30s, dropping into the low 30s by late afternoon. Wind gusts to 40 to 50 likely through tomorrow. 38 Thursday, 51 on Friday, and then look at that. 63 Saturday, 64 Sunday, 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Stacy and Dion, I know you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and, waiting and it's finally time. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, sure is.